So hi dear uh, Capricorn, very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Tarot and this is a general love reading for all the Capri Sun Moon Venus rising. Keep in mind this is general, it might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, the rules can be reversed also. Third thing, this is a reading from today till the 20th of October for those who are in complete no contact or no communication and wants to know what's going on on the other side. If it is not resonating, it's not your story, you can just skip the video. If you want to be a professional tarot card reader like me, you can start your journey by purchasing my course. The link is in the description box for the same. If you want to start your self-healing journey with hope, Pono Pono, but don't know from where to start, you can definitely start by purchasing my masterclass. Again, the link is in the description box for the same and it has the power to change your life or the rest of your life. Trust me on that. I'm doing it for a very, very long time now. And if you want one-on-one -on -one healing sessions or personal readings, you can check out the description box and you can mail me for the same. So let's start. Okay. Cappy is the person that you have no contact or no communication with their current feelings for you right now at this present moment, honey. We have the Ten of Swords, a world card. Oh my God, the Queen of Swords. The so bottom of the deck is the Two of Swords. So although this person is not able to stop thinking about you, this person is kind of in this energy of this is over, this is done, we are done. There's nothing left in the situation. I am never going to go back to Capricorn. I'm never going to go talk to Capricorn. This person is feeling actually numb when it comes to the emotions. But this person is trying to be as much as practical from this from their side and uh, accept the situation, accept the ending, the breakup and separation and move forward with this energy of I don't give a shit, I don't give a damn, I don't care, okay? This person is too hurt, too badly hurt by whatever happened that this person is not even bothering to connect with their emotions. They're like, I don't want to connect with any kind of emotions here. I don't have fucking any kind of emotions for anybody. This is it, this is over, this is done, goodbye, okay? Wow. And this person is not able to, you know, Think positive about this situation at all. Think a positive about this connection at all. So they are kind of pissed off. They are kind of feeling blocked uh, by their own thoughts. And this person is refusing to feel anything for this situation whatsoever. Yeah. Let's see what this person wants from you. Capis, what are their intentions for the situation between you and them? We have the Hierophant, the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Their intention is to move towards completely something new or someone new with the with whom they can have a spiritual level of commitment kind of energy with, with whom they can have a very good uh, long-term relationship and partnership kind of energy with. Now, this is somebody who is going on their spiritual path, on their spiritual quest, and they are trying to manifest a lover, a person, a partner, with whom they can have a, that kind of spiritual kind of connection with, spiritual kind of relationship with, and a long-term partnership with. So, I don't see this person is willing to come back to you or planning to come back to you because their intentions, their feelings, are kind of in this energy of this is done between me and Capricorn. This, there is no chance that we are going to be together again in this lifetime. So let me move to the next chapter of my life with love, with peace. Uh, let me connect with the new energy, new person, new connection that's actually meant for me. So they are moving forward with this kind of energy of universe. Bring me the person and the energy that's actually meant for me. Okay. And they're on the spiritual path right now because of this, because of whatever happened between you guys. Okay. Let's see what action is this person going to take towards you, Cappies, if any, by the 20th of October. We have the Two of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the Page of Swords. Bottom of the deck is the Ten of Cups. This person is indicating me, is telling me with all of their heart and soul, with all of their power, that I am moving towards a new person, new energy. I don't care about Capricorn. But at the same time, this person is going to make sure that you are, that you know that they are moving forward with new people, new with somebody new, someone new, or with something new. It could be like a project. It could be overseas studies. It could be something that they always wanted to do and you felt like they will never be able to do. But they are going to make sure that you know that something new is going on in their life and they are completely happy without this uh, chapter, without without uh, being your present, being uh, in your presence in this in this life so like uh, i don't see them directly talking to you basically the direct communication i don't see that but they will make sure that you know what they are up to what they are doing and how their life is kind of different from what it used to be when you guys were together so basically this person is ready for a brand new beginning fresh start in their life but the problem here is that they are not attached to their heart and soul they are attached to being very practical 
and kind of using their mind over their heart and that's it that is kind of creating more problems from them for them to be honest but they are kind of considering this as the right way to do things so yeah best of luck basically according to them they are heading towards uh, uh, something very beautiful but until unless their heart chakra their heart is going to be balanced and their heart and soul is going to be in that particular direction they will not be able to you know feel the happiness that they deserve that every human deserve every soul deserve okay but anyway this is what i'm getting here let's see the uh, guidance for you guys capis okay take care of yourself as much as you can capricorn stay in tune with your emotions stay in tune with your true emotions your true feelings and nurture those feelings it's like basically giving the love to yourself giving the care and compassionate kind of energy to yourself plus sending the blessings and love to the other person other energy even if they did something wrong with you send them with blessing and compassion because right now this person wants that blessings and compassion from your side so they might give they might they might uh, you know uh, they might have given you a lot of pain they might have given you a lot of lessons so you should bless them for those lessons and send them with compassion and love instead of hatred or jealousy or bitterness okay so the universe wants you to be the bigger person here and forgive and forget and move ahead and just told you hmm? so thank you so much for tuning in cappies i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste